What's going on, movie fans? Today I'm back to review the new Saw X movie. It's the 10th movie in the franchise, and I do gotta say, I am not the biggest Saw fan in the world, but I do like the concept. I think the idea of this movie is very creative and unique. I do think a lot of the movies have been very bad. I have, quite frankly, not liked any of them except for the first one. With that being said, I can now say I like two of the 10 movies. You know, it's a, a stretch for a series that has 10 movies, but I do like this movie. I thought it was actually pretty good. I thought the placement was a little weird. I've kind of stopped following the story because I guess this one is like Saw 1.5. It takes place after Saw 1. And then Saw 10 is a prequel to Saw 2. And I just stopped following the timeline. It's just confusing and I just don't care. The concept isn't that complicated where they need to be doing that, but they did. And I do have to say that this movie did a much better job at portraying John. I'm going to call him Jigsaw in the review. They have a lot of backstory about his life and why he's doing what he's doing. And granted, I might sound like a crazy person, but I do kind of agree with what he, why he's doing what he's doing. Because he's hurting people that are doing bad things and hurting others and ruining their lives. He gives them a choice. And you kind of root for him in that aspect. Because these are bad people and you don't want them to get away with what they did. And you're on his side. So you're kind of almost like wanting these people to fail in the game. And I thought it was an interesting take because all the other movies, you don't know why they're there. There's no context to it. And they're just in a torture trap. This one, you know why they're there and you don't want them to succeed. Because at first, I was a little worried. What happens to him in this is makes him vengeful, and at first I thought, okay, if this happens, I'm not gonna be happy with it because it seems like a damn Hallmark movie. But they ended up twisting what happened, and by the second act, that twist kind of morphed into the rest of the movie, which is what I really liked about it. Out of the Saw movies, you get a lot more out of this than the others. It's really more on point and not all over the place. In the other movies, they had a detective. The movies all ended the same with, oh yeah, I was working for you and then you were working for him and you thought he was on your side, but I'm the one running the show now, so now you're stuck in my trap. Weren't you listening to what I said earlier? This is why you're here. It's, it's like, oh my God. The movies are ridiculous in the point that I wonder how much time he had left before he was going to die of cancer because it seemed like he did a lot of things before he died. He set up all these traps. He had all these videotapes pre-recorded with these people's names. I'm like, how much preparation did you do before you actually died? The amount of people you have kidnapped and known about their situation and then recorded these videotapes, you would have had to have cancer for like five years. And that's not even me getting into the traps yet. Add more time just because of those. This movie was a little more to the point. And it was much more entertaining. The pacing was better. The writing was definitely better. And you understood more of why he's doing what he's doing. They kind of made him an anti-hero. So if you are a fan of this franchise, I'm sure you really liked this one. It ended on kind of an interesting note. I'm not sure where it's going to go from here. Honestly, with the way it ended, they should probably just stop making these movies. You've had a lot of bad entries. You finally hit a home run with this one. This one was really good. It helped with the storytelling. I'd probably just leave it alone, but it's doing really well in the box office, so I don't see them stopping. Do I recommend the Saw movie? Yeah, the 10th one was not bad. I had a lot of fun with it, and it was much more interesting than the others. I'm going to grade Saw X a B-. minus. Well, that's it for my Saw X review, guys. If you were interested in seeing this one, but you were a little hesitant about seeing it, you wanted to see some reviews first, I recommend seeing it. I don't think you'd be disappointed. It actually was a pretty good entry to the series. In my opinion, it is the best Saw movie they've made. And I'm saying that over the first one. It'd be Saw X, then the first one, and then I wouldn't watch any of the rest. Those are the only two I'd ever rewatch if I did. This series has kind of run its course. The bad guys never die in these movies anyway, so. So that's it for my Saw review, guys. I do want to make an announcement. On my next video, I'm going to be doing my very first movie loot box. And if you're curious what that is, Hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when that video posts because it's going to be the first one I do and I want you guys to put in your vote. But you have to be a subscriber. Do not miss my next video. Until then guys, I will catch you movie fans on my next video. Don't miss it.